Welcome back, everybody. We are giving you guys one of my favorite games of all time. The magnum opus that put Supermassive Games on the map until dawn. Now, this is the original one, not the beautiful upscale, up -res model. Um, if you guys want, we, we will be doing that later this month because it's October and we're doing scary games the whole month uh, today, squad. So, without further ado, we're going to get started on Supermassive Games' Until Dawn. Alright, a new story to overwrite your current progress. Alright, so this game was the first one they did, and it had the butterfly effect. Which was, um, certain decisions don't have to affect the gameplay right now. I can make a decision in chapter one that comes back to bite me in my ass in chapter six. Or I can make a ch uh, decision in chapter five and in chapter seven it immediately gets someone killed. Now, Carlos, you're going to be telling me which decisions you think I should make. But since I'm on the sticks, I'm going to make the best decisions to get everybody out of here alive. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, see, nice and safe. Because if this is a horror movie, let's be real. A lot of us wouldn't make it out despite us saying, Oh, I wouldn't go to the shower when I hear someone in here, in the house with me. And they're not, my friends aren't responding. Listen, there are certain horror scenarios that don't happen unless plot demands it. I'm going to be real with you. Okay, you know what? This game still looks beautiful even on the PS4. Uh, Are you really though? Belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Mike said I'm a hoe. No, you guys don't understand. I throw this to everybody. Okay, I'm everywhere. You need only ask. Oh, yeah. He's a city sca skateboard, you know what I mean? Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Okay, the remake gives a lot more context. Because you get the... In the remake, you get to move Josh to the couch. Hey, did you see that? Josh said it just okay, yeah, the weekend. remake is actually better. Josh. Mm. Substantially. All right, so this game doesn't have a run. It does not. Okay. I think it has a walk faster button. Okay, L1 is the walk faster button. Yeah, Jeremiah Craig. What am I supposed to be looking at here? Jeez, oh. Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. When your girl pitch a hissy fit cause you whiskey dick, this is what you say. <laughs> Hannah, you look so damn hot in that sweater, but I bet you, but uh, 
but I bet you're hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike, triple X. Oh my God. He should have what signed it, Magic Mike. Get herself into now? I got your note. Magic All right, guys, you guys may kind of notice this face, but this is a Calamity Game Squad alum. That is the face of Brett Dalton from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and uh, Freya in uh, God of War Ragnarok, the brother of Freya. What? Oh, my God. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all going to happen. Just a... Okay. I'm a little bit of a bitch, so I'm going to get Josh. 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 Fuck. Which leads me to... Yeah, which leads me to... That's when you what you. you that's when you give a that Superman that punch serious. to Emily. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. First of all, they oh, trolled shit. the shit out of her. All right, now I'm at the sticks, so Beth is safe. Okay? There's nothing gonna happen to her as long as I'm around. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't get to make that choice. Mm, fuck it. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? That's Hannah to my right. Uh, yeah, no, I seen her running off. That was actually her. That was my baby sister. I gotta save her. That, that I. Hannah, I, I, I'm coming to save you. I'm coming to save you. Just let me save you. Like you, my twin sister. We ain't never got to go nowhere. Hannah. Oi! Hannah! Stop being a dumb cut and come over here. Oi! You're getting way too far away from the, the cabin. <laughs> what the shit? Well, everyone else is looking for you. Oi! Oi, Hannah! All right, I had enough of your bollocks. Hello? What are we out here, eh? And now I'm less confident in me chances. Yeah. Oh well, fakes is fake is a lot of ball a load of bollocks anyway. Now, let's go find this daft cunt. Oi! If if Josh want to whisky dick to get off his arse and help us. We'd be form right now. What the hell was that? No, that's not ominous at all. Hannah. Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, 
He must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. Anna and Beth are twins, but one of them wears glasses for some reason. Anna, Beth. Do not run. We ran. Fuck it. All right. All right, squad. Listen. Whenever you're approached by a predator, you do not run because you're going to trigger its fight or flight response and you are not outrunning it. What you're supposed to do is walk away maintaining eye contact until you break line of sight. I watch a lot of Nerd Explains. Shout out to the Nerd Explains. Hold on. That is a long burst of flame. Oi! I refuse to make a choice here. If he need, if he's gonna grab us, he's gonna do it himself. But I can't let go of the branch, and I refuse to drop my sister. Well, you know, I did everything I could to save her, and I refused to let her go because we're twins. You know what I mean? This, this most sacred of sacred bonds. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure. Yeah, because, you know, with twins, you can just swap keys and bang each other's wives. What happened last year? Hmm? The past is beyond our control. If you're a twin out there, comment in the uh, leave it leave it in the comment section if you guys have ever tried it. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember. Listen, listen. I'm not surprised at anything in this world anymore. There are more degenerates out there than you think. <laughs> we know of some of them. You have committed to commence with this game. This is that is very important. I Keep that in mind. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We would start with a simple exercise. Can I would be I would be less perturbed if I weren't talking to the devil. And tell me what you feel about it. The in no, the seriously, that actor is Peter Stormare, who played Lucifer and Constantine. Oh. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. <clears throat> how did that picture make you feel? Carlos? Well, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Oh, interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? I ain't never fuck a ghost. I'm down for uh, anything. A level-headed response. <laughs> but everyone is fighting or something. I wonder what it is that does frighten you. I really do. When I go into a person's house and they got more than five bottles of baby oil. Let's investigate that in our next session, 
Shall we? Carlos, what frightens, frightens you? What frightens you? Mm -hmm. Oh, the, um, are you talking about the, uh, the analyst? You know, I really don't, I think that this one is um, stream friendly, this song, but I, I'm not 100%, but I do love the song, Oh Death. Yeah, have you never seen Supernatural? Yeah, in, se in season five, there was a, um, in season five, there was a, um, song, Old Death, when the baddest, um, character that Supernatural had, Death, was introduced. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein, Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their... Yeah, it's an old song. ...into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room. Hey, first. hold on, give me one sec. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know. Hayden doesn't look um, like current Hayden. That's in her late 30s. So she me. looks like it bring it on Hayden. And that. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth. No, because Hayden Panettiere now looks different I really want to spend than fresh out of high school Hayden Panettiere. Um, like bring it on to moment. Scream 6. We'll never forget. For the sake of my sisters, and you know. Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit you guys with nerd trivia right now. Fucking porn stars. Hayden okay. Panettiere was a child actor we'll that forget. didn't go crazy. Right. She yeah. was in Remember the Titans as a small child. So we have different. Yes, we have different levels of her age. As a child, she was adorable. And, and bring it on, she looks like she's a high school student. In Scream 6, she looks like someone's mom. But she looks like someone's hot mom. Does that make any sense? Yeah, she still looks great. She still looks fantastic. She still looks great, but you can see 
She aged like fine wine. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, you don't look a day over 25. Yeah. I'm not saying anything negative. Yeah, she'll go on an adventure with you, but when you get winded and can't keep hiking up the mountain, she'll hold your hand until you catch your breath. Hello? You know what Is I mean? There? Give you a once over, make sure you don't have any, uh, you, you're not dehydrated. That's why she's built diligent as well. A once over, you know, check on your friend. Hey, buddy, you good? You're not breathing too hard, are you? <laughs> oh, you thought like she'd like massage your thigh and then beat you up? <laughs> the hell's wrong with you, buddy? I'm gonna put you in hospital for free, eh? I'm walking quick. Mm. All of them are Canadian. That's why um, Beth didn't um, jab Emily because I would have gave Emily that one two KO. It's just a prank hand. Falcon punch! And that would have been it. Wow, what? <sighs> Damn it. You know what? Fuck you, Chris. You ain't the horse you rode in on. Ah! Never mind. Oh, I thought we had to go Batista on it. Well, it's time for her to climb the wall the hard way, eh? Let's do this quickly, eh? Um, <sighs> nah, bro. I can do this. Nah, 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 nah. I'm the QTE king. I play Shimu too. Yeah, she can climb everything, even your self-esteem issues. All right, y'all, I'm going video game no matter what video game it is, and I'm looking for totems right now. Uh, bro, listen, I'm not me if I don't. Okay. All right. So, um, here's a bit of a problem. <sighs> All right. When there is a don't move section, <clears throat> and I didn't notice that I did this until after I watched the Super Best Friends play, which they're now no longer an uh, active channel, I find myself holding my breath during don't move sections. Because it helps me to not make the move. <laughs> cool. Um, okay. Death, black butterfly is death. It's a prophecy of um, death. Red butterfly is a danger totem. Brown is loss, which means that a friend's going to die. Guidance means that they want to help you forward. Fortune is a white butterfly. The dreams of um, luck and good fortune. So that's telling you the moves you should make. You know, th it's really deceptive for them to put that shit here. Because 
you could have completely missed the totem as Hannah. I mean, Beth. You could have totally missed the totem as Beth if you didn't know that th that was how you were supposed to do it. The past is beyond our control. <clears throat> okay, now <clears throat> we're gonna get we're gonna address the elephant that's tramping that's stampeding through the room. Chris, Emma Emma here? not Emma. Beth and Hannah were Josh's twin sisters. Josh invited us back to this um lodge. Milgram Victor, male, six foot two, last known location, Blackwood Pines, last seen 3 16, 1998. Wanted for in connection with a first degree of arson offense, as well as various death threats. And all. Alright, so this is really old. All right, so Sam, not a fan of guns. Me, myself, I keep that thing on me no matter where I go. Fuck you thought this was. She does not dress like she's in a uh, winter in Alberta. I'm just going to say that right now. Yeah, like she's going to cheerleading. I'm sorry, I'll just last bring it on joke. <laughs> like she's going to cheerleading tryouts. Bags here, where are you? Not in the bag, are you? No, she was in the first one. And the beautiful and comparable Eliza Dushko was in the uh, second one, I believe. Or they were both, they both were in the first one. You know what? She probably wasn't bring it on too. Sam, hey, you made it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Shirley in movies was that flame back in the day. Oh, so that was nothing about being a horny teenage boy. It's a sport that I will never play and I know nothing about. But hearing about cheerleading injuries was always sick. Blow your mind. As someone who wrestled in high school, I will tell you this right now. The hardest sport bar none is cheerleading. Wait, did you just say you did ballet? Uh, <laughs> dude, have you ever met Josh? What? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Okay, no, what I'm saying is, if you've ever heard of a cheerleading right. accident, girls are paralyzed from their neck down when teammates don't catch them. It gets rough in ballet, bro. All right, so with this tutorial, you have to be quick to shoot something because this will come up later. And you got to be quick on the draw to save your life. Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm going to go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Well... Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Sam, either you gonna glaze me or you gonna hate me, but I'm gonna get on you about either decision. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, 
sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. I really hate these fixed camera angles. Yeah, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Gentlemen. It's real nice and all, Sam, but I wouldn't be me if I didn't loot. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? Young man, crazy young lady. Please to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Family bottom mountain. Who makes a hotel and a sanatorium? I don't want to get my hotel in the same place as a psycho. That's not. That's unsettling. Huh? You see this shit, bro? Bro, did you see that? Nah, they are not, they're not, no. That was a hot tub, that was like a tub in there, right? A second ago? Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but... seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. All Josh right, so you, it's easy from. for Josh, I mean, Chris to say to that because, and I want to stress Josh this later because this is a horror brother. movie. So Chris had nothing to do with the prank, okay. even less than so Sam. I got moved to the back. And? and next to Josh, that's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like Three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone, right now, or or talking to some other person entirely. Boom! Butterfly effect. Ah! He said the thing. Oh, remember the hey Carlos, you still there with us? Yeah. Remember um in the earlier one she said, I'm just looking out for my girl M. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 
What does it say under her name? Mike's new girlfriend. The prank on Hannah was because I'm pretty sure Hannah got that guap guap 5,000, that ghost throat, and um, she uh, Hannah was trying to make a move on Mike. Jessica helped set up this prank to humiliate Hannah. Now, Jessica is with Emily's boyfriend, Mike. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New yeah, so in, in, in addition to being a dickhead move, it was also a useless move because you still lost your slutty man. Your city bike still went to ride another girl. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh... Yeah, I, I try not to do that, as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know. She's whoever. got a city uh, bike to catch, Chris. Sam? Jeez. You? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. That's what she said! Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? It's really fucked up that Emily is just Mike's ex. Huh? You're naming off her traits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Emily's, see Matt is Emily's new boyfriend. Ambitious, active, motivated. Seduction by Matt. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Bitch, just because I'm black don't make me a bellboy. He's what? <sighs> Getting chills. We're almost there. Oh, he's whitewashed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like cool Weird leafing. Seeing everyone up here again. I got a, I got a loot, baby. Shit, I'm supposed to keep up with this bitch. I'm going to go on record right now. I hate Emily. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? People just died up here. in the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. <laughs> Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, 
This is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Look at that! Emily, my relationship with Emily went down. Ha! Huh, who could have guessed? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. How do you feel there. about this, Carlos? It's important, Matt, please. Do you, do you want to argue with her or do you want to agree? Hmm? What do you want to do, Carlos? Em. I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? That's a stick ass uh, botch! Yeah. Okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. All right, so I was willing to fight her because fuck Emily. I'm gonna let my feelings show at all times, okay? I'm not even playing character on this one. When it's a decision involving Emily, I will actively keep her safe, but hate her guts as I do it. She has a big time crush on Chris like he was in a boy band. Okay, that is Jessica. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! oh God. <laughs> hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? God damn it, you beautiful it's chocolate, chocolate man! Uh, it, Let me check it out. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and check it um, out, um, Matt. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. <laughs> 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 It's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh. All of the mess I made. <laughs> I'll read a book. Yeah, you know what? Um, Matt's going to be t telling Mike. And I would have been swallowed up if it wasn't for you meddling kids. The hell am I to retaliate? Have you ever so been swallowed up? Mike. God, come take me into custody. All right, yeah, so we got to talk over know, this uh, like Macy Gray hey, with rip off music. Bam! Oh, great. <laughs> 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 
Okay, yeah, yeah, we definitely got to talk over this because um, I did not mute music, and this is going to make us a pile. All right. Juke moves. Yeah, bro, I told y'all. You know how long I've been waiting for this here? Who I'm about to make a name for. Hey, Mike. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take that, take that, take that. Take that. Yeah. Sometimes the right thing, doing nothing is the right thing to do. All right. So, only reason I'm gonna let. Oh, I see you. I'm about to beam your bitch ass too as soon as you pull up your head out. Oh, 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 Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. That is one tag you don't want to look for on Pornhub. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. I am a god. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever. All right, so I'm gonna IMDB you again. Uh, the Just actor that plays the guy with glasses, Chris, he was on an episode of um, Law and Order SVU as a wrestler who was molested by his coach. Should we be saying bad touched and sad? We're gonna say bad touched. But he was a wrestler who was bad touched by his coach in um, Law and Order SVU and ends up deleting the coach and getting a confession and going to prison. Hello again. And how are we? It seems we're hard to scratch the surface in our last session, so let's go. Why is he so menacing? This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. I know I'm going through these quick. That's because I know what scares me. Except for right now. Which one would you go on? Heights or um, drowning? Yeah, because drowning can last for hours. All right, fun fact. Sometimes if you're stuck in the ocean you, and you're drowning, you can drown for up to six, eight hours because the salt water fills your lungs and expands them. So your lungs just keep filling with air as you spit out the water and struggle for air. Now nah, scare me. You're there the whole time. Yeah, you're there the whole time. I fear snakes more. Even if you have a pet snake, do not let it sleep next to you. If it stops eating, it's measuring you to eat you. Scarecrows are more scary than clowns. I only fear oh. Japanese crows. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. 
the more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. All right, speed round. Snakes. I could crush a spider. A snake, they keep fighting even even though they're dead. Mm -mm. Needles. I don't know what's in a needle. I don't have to touch gore. Zombies, they eat you alive. No contest. Needles. Again. Needles. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> Snakes, zombies, and needles. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Okay, okay, nothing's off about this room. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. <laughs> 